and welcome to Awesome Comics, your one-stop shop for everything comic book entertainment. I'm your host, Walter Bernasiak, and today we are talking about the brand new movie, Doctor Strange, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. It's the latest offering from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And before we get into it, I want to remind you guys to like our Facebook page. That is facebook.com slash awesomecomicshow. And we have new videos that go up on there every single Thursday, exclusive to that Facebook page. So go ahead and give us a like, will you? Okay, let's get into the intros here. Let's go to this guy first. He is Mr. Brian Porter. And we have Ayana Wade. What's up, Ayana? Not much. We get two Benedicts in this movie, too. Benedict Wong and Benedict Cumberbatch. Double Benedict. Actually. Double Benedict action. Yeah, go eat your Benedict eggs. <laughs> there we go. And Miss Heather Roos, how's it going? Hey, it's going great. Ready to talk about Doctor Strange? Yes, I am. I'm also ready to talk about Benedict. <laughs> oh, swoon. <laughs> And our special guest today, you saw him a couple weeks ago on our favorite anime episode, it's Mr. Rob Walker. That's Dr. Rob. <laughs> Dr. Mr. Mr. Doctor. You're good. Thank Thanks you. Up. Thank you, I need you. <laughs> I, I love the cape, I really do. Do you want me to so, get your tears? Do you want me to get your tears? <laughs> get your tears? Uh, so here's the spoiler warning for you guys. Uh, we're going to go into spoilers about this, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, Go see it, or if you don't have, you don't care about spoilers, just keep watching. Honestly, I don't think spoilers are gonna ruin this movie. Like, there's nothing really in it that is gonna ruin your enjoyment of it. I think, just my yeah. opinion. But, yeah. uh, but here it's we go. It's mostly predictable, <laughs> kind oh, of. Yeah. Um, so let's get into positive. What did we like about this movie the most, Rob? What did you like about Doctor Strange? The Cumberbatch. <laughs> uh, it, honestly, the uh, on, uh, honestly the visuals. I, at least since Gravity, which I thought was a very visually heavy movie, um, it's probably some of the best visuals I've seen. Inception, The Matrix, mm -hmm. I you know, and I saw the trailers. I thought, oh well, this will look cool. But I thought, you know, they they probably just saved all of this just for like five minutes, and this ends up in the trailer. And I really the first few minutes of the movie, I was like, holy crap! Mm -hmm. And uh, pretty much the whole way to the end, I'm like. Yeah, uh, this probably some of the most spectacular effects I've seen since Inception, Gravity, The Matrix. Like, I think it ranks up there with like you know 2001 Star Wars. And the weird thing is, I didn't think like going into this because I was really looking forward to this movie, mm -hmm. but I didn't think like, oh, this will be remembered as one of the great special effects films of all times because it's just like it's Doctor Strange, it's like Doctor a Strange. Marvel throwaway movie. Right. I'm like, I'm, I came out of it was like, wow, that was mind blowing. So I, I'd say that's my favorite part of the film. Visuals, okay. Porter, what was your favorite stuff? Mine was actually visuals too. I was floored with how good this movie was. Like they had to have had like half the budget into the VFX because yeah, they looked yeah. so good. It was mm -hmm. crisp, it was clean. Like there was no like weird like blur mm -hmm. between like the buildings forming all crazy mo styles and all that stuff. Like mm -hmm. it was so crisp and clean and it looked Awesome, it was so good. And that straight up acid trip that Benedict Cumberbatch went or Doctor Strange went on was fantastic. There was so much shit going. The yeah, fingers really coming cool. out of the fingers. Oh my gosh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. crazy. That was so yes. much just ridiculousness going on. I was like, man, this is a movie that makes me wish I did take drugs because I would come to this high <laughs> off of my ass. Oh my it, it would be amazing. Me of that I drank a whole bottle of absinthe. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, okay, I've seen that. <laughs> this movie was amazing, and it was so trippy, and they told us like it was going to be not like anything we'd seen before, and it just looked so good. Yeah. Everything about the movie was just, they put a lot of time and effort in these VFX, and it was awesome. And I I'm going to be genuinely curious to see how these effects hold up over yeah. time. Yeah. Like, in 10 years, are we still going to look back at this movie and be like, you know what? This still looks awesome. It looks pretty good. I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with what they presented us, I think it will, but... Mm -hmm. I'm genuinely curious. To like the, the you never know. Sequence. I was just about to say know, the chase yeah. sequence. That it was like MC Escher meets Dolly with the cars melting over the side, and they're all trying to like read. How like the however they did that world. with the green screens like had to be hard as hell. I would be like, really interested in seeing the special effects behind the behind scenes. The scenes. Kind of Absolutely. Of, um, when they have like I don't, they're like glass shards or whatever. I don't know like yeah. the glass world shard things that they're holding. Like mm -hmm. do do they just like have green sticks and stuff, or even mm -hmm. the makeup? And in, uh, what's his butt? Mad's face. Um, oh, uh, to I can't think of the character's Cassiller name. Or yeah, yeah. Cam yeah. Um, his his eye makeup. I was like debating whether or not that was like green screen makeup because there was some animation over yeah. it. At first, I thought someone just came in and was like 
purple gold foil. Let's do it. Let's do a little bit of a smoky eye and then gold foil and then dye it purple and it'll look real good. So when he's crying, it's like, what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that monologue's great, by the yeah, way. I know you're he's, he's just talking. He's just like talking normally and his eyes are like welling up and just tears falling down his face. I was like, I feel... Something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, and that's that that's the whole movie. It's yeah. just like I, I love the movie. I thought the visuals were the strong like at the same time I'm just like it's kind of like I think Siskel once said about the first Mission Possible mm -hmm. movie about how Tom Cruise is like, you never quite know what he's doing, <laughs> but you really feel it. And right. it was like, it was it's like I feel something. Yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what, but I feel something. And most movies, a lot of them, I don't really feel anything. So right. I'm like, mm -hmm. good job. So I don't know what I for that yeah. Yeah, for sure. uh, Heather, what, anything else that you really liked about it? Um, one of the things that I liked is the progression of Doctor Strange's journey. Mm -hmm. Like sure. We oh, really yeah. got to see him progress as not just like a superhero, because it's pretty easy to just like put on the cape and be like, ha ha. But like we got to see him really change and grow as a human being, which I really appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the character growth. And I was really invested in his journey, uh, which is always good for an origin story yeah. movie. When well, he uh, is such a D-bag early. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh. Yeah. 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 And this was a few times like the IMAX audience when he unleashes on her and is it, like the whole audience Christine, just went, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. there was this collective yes. gasp, and then like somebody in the very back of the audience shouted, "Oh no, you did!" <laughs> like so, like we were Girl, all just sitting go. there, yeah, yeah, and like I like that scene where she's just like, you know what, we're done here. Like it wasn't like a scene where like I'm I'm destroyed and I'm <laughs> she's like. Screw you! I'm out. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, it was a great scene. I was like, that's like mm -hmm. something that almost belonged in another <laughs> yeah. movie. Right. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, felt that. Is, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is pretty funny to see Benedict Cumberbatch just keep yeah, playing sure. the same. The same I was like, character, he's though. definitely like, channeling Sherlock. some Sherlock, Sherlock in there. He's a really <laughs> smart jerk who just doesn't quite know how to interact with other humans. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think his uh, his like uh, uh, apology to Christine and all that stuff was like mm -hmm. so genuine, and it mm -hmm. just. It worked yeah. really well. There was yes. nothing forced about it. You know, it wasn't like too early in the story or anything like yeah, that. I was, it was like, at the right time. it worked so well. And her reaction to it felt super genuine right. too. It was mm -hmm. like, it was really well acted film. It wasn't like a great film in, in terms of like character development and the narrative or whatever. Like, it wasn't like amazing, but like it, it just worked so well with all the characters. It was really, really solid. Yeah, Tilda very solid. Swinton, oh, she was yeah. awesome. Girl brought it. <laughs> she was really good. She did Creepy. a great job. She has an yeah. intensity. But she she does. Because she was, that's another thing where I was like, I don't know how to feel because she was kind of creepy, but then she's like so warm and like, I, I like just listening yeah. to you talk. Yeah. Right. She it's keeps you on weird. your toes that one. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. Oh, she did a great job. Mm -hmm. Right. And the action sequences too, I'd be interested to see because as a general rule of thumb a lot of times if you don't see the actor's face it's, it's the, uh, the stunt, stunt double, double. Right, right. Um, so I'd be interested to see how much of it she did because there was a lot of really really cool fighting yeah, and, uh, especially at the happened. beginning with the hood on mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, yeah, that was badass. Like, yeah, really Avatar cool. You know, those mm -hmm. Celtic gals, they're hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They do know. All we know about her is she yeah. Kel she's Celtic and she's lived for like a million years. Like, <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. that. Like, right, she's Celtic and old. Right. She yeah. somehow captured the essence of that she like did. ancient knowledge. Yeah, uh, like, but she's oh, so yeah, I believe it. That's, I believe yeah, it. That's why I There's that wisdom there, you know what I mean? It's like, I know exactly what you're thinking right now, but just follow me. Like Tilda Swinton. Just on a physical level, I gotta say, the face. She just... There, there were scenes where face. she like stares she through the face. camera, and I'm like looking at her, like, Ugh. like I want to look somewhere else because I'm like, I think she's looking at my soul directly. I think there's some freaky thing going on in the screen. But anywhere so. I move, she's still looking at me. Yeah. Um, even the psych out of like her introduction was kind of cool too. Yeah. Of like when he walked in and saw this old Asian yes. man and was like, yes. "Oh, hello, ancient one. Thanks for yeah. being here." She's like, "You're yeah. welcome." Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm torn on that a little because yeah. at the same time I was kind of like I had like one of those Brad Jones laughs. Like <laughs> it's funny because originally he was gonna be an Asian guy, and it's like I don't know. Um, oh yeah, the I feel yeah. I feel like cast. they were trying to like yeah. disarm us a bit with all the the, the quote unquote controversy. Mm -hmm. um, and I so I, I don't know if I would have just preferred that they just kind of just went in with it and not sure. made that joke because then it just reminded me like oh, yeah, we had all that we had to deal with on Tumblr <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was uh, that joke 
landed pretty well though. I liked I mean, it. Yeah, it was good. It's still a lot of white people, so like, yeah, I mean there are. <laughs> there definitely are. Um, yeah. I don't know anything that you really liked about costumes. it. Costumes. Oh my god. Like within the first few minutes of the film, I was like, these costumes are so well constructed. I agree. They're so like even just that cape cloak, cloaky. I kept oh I was god. kept being like Cloaky. Cloak. Yeah, the cloak of levitation. The magic carpet from yeah. Aladdin. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, yeah, basically. basically. Yeah. Yeah. She uses the wizard slash, you know, like sorcerer. Wand. It was the real hero of the like movie. The <laughs> Best character in the movie. Yeah, it was really, really yeah. I really, really like funny. Love yeah, Loki is good. the world's character. greatest sidekick. Or even right. like right. wrapped around the guy's face. Yeah, and he's like, just smashing his head. Around. That was oh great. That Some was... of those gags too, where it was pulling him back, and he's like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that whole scene up from when he goes into the New York branch of the uh, whatever the, <laughs> the sanctum, the, the, the sanctum, 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 the New York sanctum. Yeah. Yeah. All the way up until they, they come back from the hospital and stuff. That whole action mm -hmm. scene is just like a really long, great, intense action scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, it was good. They really blended the humor with the action very well mm -hmm. as well that yeah. broke it up a little and because there was some of it. Does that a lot. They do, mm -hmm. and so, there's some moments that help. get really tense and they really think about the audience and give them like, okay, you can laugh here. Here's mm -hmm. where you can like just let out kind of your pent up whatever right. you've got going on. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the fact they made a costume character, I love it. Super good. <laughs> but just in general, the the design of everything was phenomenal. Um, yeah. So good. I, I don't know. I Tell really liked uh, cosplay from it because that needs to happen. Yeah. <laughs> that was really one, good. I was going to say, get you some bald cap. Yeah, like yeah get you a bald cap. Yeah, yeah, I just want to see her with the purple Whatever. eyes just crying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just talking normally. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm there. Single, <laughs> single tear. You got it. Yeah, single absolutely. Tear. The most Man. powerful tear is a single tear. Um, <laughs> so you got to make sure it catches the light, though. Yeah, you got to make sure it catches the light. Got a little glimmer. The stuff that I liked about it, I mean, I think the thing I, I liked most about it was that how it it was like a sort of a basic jerk redeemed kind of story, yeah. mm -hmm. but it was presented in a way that felt so fresh and unique from the other Marvel movies. Like this really feels different for me from the other ones. I mean, um, maybe the structure a little bit is, is similar here and there, but um, the elements that they deal with, the magic stuff, we haven't seen quite yet. I mean, a little bit in Thor, but really dove into that with this. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the, all, all the astral projection mm -hmm. and uh, the the holes, what is that called? The, the uh, sling rings, the, the sling portals. Sling ring portals and everything, that was really cool. Yeah, and I like that we get to see them learn all this stuff. We get mm -hmm. to see them go through all the, uh, the, sort of the training here and there. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave you on Mount Everest. Bye. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Again? That. Yeah, we got yeah. that. Oh, not again. <laughs> yeah, that, I thought that was great. So, um, but it felt different enough. I mean, they had mentioned the Avengers like once, like the Avengers protect the world from physical threats while we protect it from spiritual threats or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was a nice thing to throw in, but they really didn't cross it over too much. Like this felt very self-contained, mm -hmm. and I like that about it a lot. You did see the Avengers and Tower in the beginning. You did, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. 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 So the they, they I mean, honestly. I, I like the Avengers. I the second they started going that route of just like, well, they they're the physical threat, we're the mystical side. I'm just like, sold. I want this series. <laughs> I'm like nothing against the Avengers, but I'm just like, it's I new. got way more wrapped up into this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Right. It just it feels so, so fresh to me. Yeah. Right. I think some of it is, I don't know how to quite explain it, but the characters in this one really felt real. Like you had taken real characters and put them in these. Outlandish situations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's insane and it's goofy, but you know, uh, he, he felt real. The nurse felt real. Every yeah. character yeah, had a relationship. Yeah. 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 That was a great test. That was one of the best though. comic book really relationships bothered. I've seen. <laughs> yeah, like it really was. And the the movie wasn't really like about them entirely. No. It's no. kind of a side story. But I like, think for that's something that was so a good. Side story, yeah. yeah. I, I was like, I really believe this relationship they have from the ups and the downs. Mm -hmm. and, the, and I'm like, that was rare and refreshing because so many mm -hmm. times that's the weakness in a comic book. Yeah, like, right. And Toss the, the love interest in there. Like, well, yeah. she was kind of looking at it from our point of view, too. I yeah. feel like she was the window into it with him. Mm -hmm. like, she was the Winston. We're, yeah, because mm -hmm. we're kind of being thrown into this. Like, even when he's like, yeah, I have to go back to this like time portal thing. And she's like, <laughs> okay, don't tell me. And he's like, okay, well, here's the broom closet. Right. And okay, see ya. And she's yeah. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> in the mob balls. Balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a great moment. Uh, yeah. But yeah, also, like character in the movie, I the watched. small mm -hmm. details yeah. too with the characters, like when. Uh, he he's like, which is with his watch. And you're like, oh, it's just an expensive watch. But then he takes it off and he looks and is like, blah blah blah, whatever. It said, yeah, all lovey dovey with Christine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh wow. I love how he puts it on at the end. Yeah. yeah. Like, his the, hand is okay, is that what it said in the watch? I totally missed that part. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I saw it in 3D yeah. and the glasses uh, they gave me were actually like dirty. So at one point I was like dirty. cleaning they're them. I'm like, what the hell is good? And then I put it back on and then like he's like puts the watch back on. I'm like, 
something happened. Uh, <laughs> I was looking at this watch and the rest of the movie, I'm like, what is this watch about? I, yeah. saw, it, I saw it in IMAX 3D as well. Uh, and my goodness, I hate, hate those 3D. glasses. I hate 3D glasses so much. They're so annoying. Specifically, as a glasses wear, mm. it's one of really frustrating experiences. Because you but get this, the double. Yeah, this was one of those that you really no, you should didn't. go see it in IMAX or see it in 3D. If you can, yeah. I say go see it because I saw it in it. it it's it's really cool. It's, it's kind of built for that, you yeah. know. But yeah. I mean, it's I just, like Inception. I just, a lot of depth. Sort yeah. of, yeah. yeah. I just can't take 3D, man. <laughs> I just can't. I it makes can't me it. sick, so I have yeah. to see it. I'm proud of myself it for not my eyes. Up. It really strains <laughs> my eyes. Like, my eyes go in and out of focus, and I just, I just can't do it for, like, a full movie length. I'm with you, yeah. but if... Uh, and my problem with 3D is it is so overused because mm -hmm. it's oh, just definitely. a gimmick. Yeah. Definitely. Like, and when they just do retroactively, you know, just like, oh yeah, we're releasing in 3D as well. I'm like, screw that. So most of them, I don't think you need to see in 3D at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is one of the rare ones. There's a rare set of films I could probably count on like my one hand that I'm like, no, those <laughs> needed to be seen in 3D. Yeah. I'm glad I saw them in 3D. Right. This is one of you those. You know, this I'd is say. totally one of them. Definitely. Um, so we've talked about our positive, and we just collected our checks from Disney. So thanks, Disney. <laughs> Appreciate that. Where's my check? No, no. Where is my check? Oh, Everyone's like, amazing. "Oh, you're just being paid off by Disney." I, I'm okay with that. Where is it? <laughs> Bring the money. Bring I can't money. Have the money. I can be bought. Like. <laughs> Don't tell the internet that, Porter. <laughs> or should I? Anyway, not sponsored um, by Disney, but if so, you want to. <laughs> now that we've talked about the positives, is there anything you guys uh, didn't like about this or stuck out to you as not great? The only thing that wasn't like, I see, I feel like no matter what we do, it's kind of just nitpicking at this point. Sure. Yeah. But um, I felt like the villain was super gen generic. Like, very. Which, we, we've seen it already. Right. Like really, Both, yeah. all, you know, like, ooh, of course, well. the dark yeah. dimension is like this evil yeah. dark mm -hmm. lord who controls everything. And yeah. then the other villain was like the fallen pupil who makes the master realize she can't make the same mistake again. It was just kind of, okay, I've seen this before. Uh, yeah, we've seen And yeah, like, right. the henchman didn't even have a name. I, I, will, <laughs> like, I, will, like, I will say this. Okay. Like, because you're, you're preaching the choir here, <laughs> at, at least with me, about like, Marvel's Achilles heel is always its villains. So, like, yeah. yeah. Who remembers half of them? There's Loki and. <laughs> I liked Ronan. I know people don't like Ronan, but I, I really liked I, Ronan. I liked Ronan too, but yeah. that was kind of because he was so over the top. Yeah, he was. Yeah. But um, <laughs> this is one of the rare Dark ones where that, oh, yeah. it didn't bother me just because. His personal journey, like Doctor Strange's personal journey, was so interesting that unlike other Marvel movies where it bothers me, where I'm just like, ah, oh, the villain's on the stream home about this one, I'm just like, you know, I'm not sure I would have needed it because the more you would have focused on the villain, the less of Doctor Strange I'd see. And I was more interested in him <laughs> and his journey and yeah, Swindon's definitely. weird face. And, you know. Right. We got to see Dormammu at the end. That was Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was actually That was really a cool. Futurama-like ending. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of yeah, hoping he'd be more fiery than, mm -hmm. like, fiery. super. Oh. Yeah, because in the comics, a lot of the, at least what I've read, he was, yeah, he was, yeah, very flaming head. He looks kind of like Thanos light. I feel like he could have been Thanos' dad, like someone got him explorers. Like. <laughs> yeah, well, but I mean, it did look awesome. I mean, visually, it looked. Great. Yeah, that yeah. the dark yeah. dimension or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. And he was funny. I loved the the end scene with the time I've, loop. I've come to bargain. I liked that. Yeah. Yeah. I liked Tomorrow, that a lot. I've come to bargain. I liked that a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can do that. this all day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can do this forever. Seriously, <laughs> we'll just keep Earth frozen in time forever, as long as they're not gonna die. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totally sure. fine. Um, but, um, anything time, else? Time's a bitch, man. Yeah, well, I know. Time, <laughs> well, you got, you got, time turner. Yeah, That's that. my Hermione Granger in me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wish I had one of these in school. Are you kidding? Are you yeah. kidding? Hell yeah. Would have been great. I would have taken like one five more classes. would have yeah. been cool. Yeah, yeah well, that yeah. too, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as negatives, I didn't, I didn't really have too many, but yeah, right. the villain, okay, yeah, a little weak, but uh, there was one scene, that, there was only one scene with the visuals that I didn't quite like or was, just thought was a little weird. What was that? It was when they were both the astral, uh, uh, the ancient one, and then uh, strange, and they were ast astral projecting, and they were watching the, the lightning. lightning or whatever. Yeah. Her face. Exploding. I know that they were astral projections, so like they were gonna look weird anyway. But for some reason, it looks like they took her mouth off and then put another one on. But it was her <laughs> they, mouth. It, they did some weird. Pro I, I her face that. looked yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. but and, I think that's just the astral like, projection effect. It looked like they. 
I mean, they obviously like turned down the opacity on them, <laughs> and then it looked like they added like some CG elements or something on it, where yeah. it was some like this contour. unique, weird look. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but I was so like, I okay, it's, it's actual projection, so it's really not that big of a deal, and it was just something I noticed. I didn't took you out of the moment. Act, right. I didn't know. I it didn't even take me out. Of the, I just kind of noticed it. I was like, mm, it's weird, mm -hmm. but I was fine with it. But other than that, like it was, it's fine. Like I didn't have anything that I really didn't like, although. Mm -hmm. The fact that uh, Scott Adkins was one of the, um, he was the one that got his ass beat by the cloak. He was the, <laughs> the henchman. Uh, I like Scott Adkins a lot, and uh, I was like, damn, he was super underutilized in this film. The guy's a freaking martial arts badass, and he got I his mean, ass kicked by a cloak. Fight Club himself in that scene, let's yeah. be real, until they put that cloak on. He was just going like this a lot. True. <laughs> I talked about this in the Batman 66 review. I love when people have to fight an invisible <laughs> entity and they're like, you got it. You got it, director. I'm going to boss the wall. I love that. It's not an easy job. Respect. <laughs> yeah. Respect. Mad Seriously. Respect. All right, uh, we're going to have to wrap this up. But really quickly, where does this fit into the other MCU movies? Is this near the top of you guys? Middle? What do you think? Rob, really quickly. You know, I, I mean, the story it itself was nothing to scream home about. Um, and you want to talk about the only one negative I had was Benedict Cumberbatch's amazing disappearing, <laughs> reappearing <laughs> accent. It only happened like once or twice for I, me. I know, yeah. It was really distracting for me, but I, the visuals are so strong. I think the characters are so much fun. I, I would rank it absolutely near the top. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, easily. I got gotcha. you. Cool. Uh, yeah, I would say near the top too, but I did want to mention, because I know people are going to be like, why didn't you mention this? Um, uh, Wong's character was really awesome. Wong, I really yeah, liked him. I love Benedict um, Wong. He's hilarious. Uh, she would tell Ea4. I might not be saying that right. I couldn't uh, pronounce his, his name. So that's yeah. why. His <laughs> character was great. He was cool A lot too. of depth. It was yeah. awesome. Can't wait I'm, to see more. I guess. Yeah. I loved the uh, mid credit right. scene with yes. that. I thought that was really good. It really fleshed him out. And then, or no, that, that was the end credit scene. Yeah, that was the end. I thought they should have flopped that. Yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. No, they totally should have flopped And then the mid credit scene with Thor setting up Ragnarok. Hilarious. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that refill Tom Hiddleston. You guys, okay. you guys, you guys. That can refilling I, can beer I just glass. Ask here, did I miss something after Thor 2? Is the or am I, am I supposed to know what the heck they're talking I, I, no, about? No, because it sounds like they like Thor already found out that Loki was sitting on the throne or whatever. Okay, because I just sat there yeah. like. I I think we missed. Did I time. miss one of the movies? No, <laughs> you did not. No, not yet. So I think I've um, seen them all, but. So very because we got to get going here. So where would you rank this one? Top five, probably. Top five. I can't. Um, I don't think it's quite my top five, but definitely top ten. So, okay. yeah. so uh, near the top. It's yeah. up there. It's still no Guardians of the Galaxy for me. That's yeah, still I love that's the gold yeah. standard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. Yeah. It is. But like, it's up there. Visually speaking, it's it's one of the it's man. Yeah, if I we agree. were just talking well, visuals, it'd be my number yeah. one. Sure. There yeah. was um, no other. I put in that same realm of Guardians of the Galaxy. I, would, yeah. I felt way more yeah. connected to that than Absolutely. anything on the Avengers. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Yeah, I'm I'm about the same. It might be top five for me. I mean, I really really liked it. Like the first Iron Man. Guardians of the Galaxy, this, uh, Avengers are all up there. So mm -hmm. um, uh, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier, Soldier and yeah. Civil War are up there for me too. So mm -hmm. Marvel just keeps putting on consistent quality products. Yeah. And as long as <laughs> things are different enough, uh, mm -hmm. I don't think the fatigue will set in, like the superhero fatigue people are talking about. I don't think that will set in um, for a long time as long as they keep making things just different enough like mm -hmm. they are in Marvel. So yeah. good on them. Yeah. Really quickly, social media. Rob, you're on Facebook, right? I have a Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> find him on Facebook. Porter? Facebook.com slash awesome porter. You can find me at awesome underscore Walter, I think. Yes, on that's right. On Twitter. Yeah. You? That's it. Uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and uh, Snapchat now. Yeah. Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. yeah Chat yeah. that snap. Pretty cool. Chat um, and snap. you can find me on Twitter at Heather Roos or Instagram at HRoos. Okay, so until next week. Uh, we're going to have a couple special guests. We're going to do something a little bit different next week, so come back for that. It's going to be quite the nerdy episode. Uh, there you so, go. That's a hint, guys. So, <laughs> until next week, these folks, as usual, are the best. I'm Walter Bernasiak, and until next week, we'll see you on the next page. <laughs>